Welcome to an epic debate between two thought-provoking minds. In this corner, we have Destiny, a well-known online debater and political commentator. On the other side, we have Dennis Prager, renowned conservative thinker and founder of PragerU. Watch as they clash over the biggest issues dividing the left and right-wing narratives. Who do you think is right? Let's talk about it in the comments. So Stephen, uh, how do you stand on men who say they're women competing in women's sports? Uh... I'm assuming the question has to do with trans people competing in sports. I think that um, I think that my personal view is that sports up through probably high school are just there for people to kind of like play games and get along with each other and, you know, like build camaraderie and stuff. So I don't really have much of a concern past or, uh, up to that point. Once you get to NCAA or professional events, I think that um, the dividing between the sexes is very important for athletic competition. So I'm generally opposed to trans people participating in the gender they identify with. So you with. know like, then that the, that the Biden administration has extended uh, the uh, the anti-discrimination uh, legislation passed to protect women, they have extended it to trans people. You, you are aware of that. That they've done what? They have extended it to trans people so that- Wait, wait, extended what to trans people? I'm sorry. The, 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 not, you cannot discriminate against trans people. If a man says he is a woman in, in college, he should be allowed to play in college sport. That is the Biden administration's position. I'm not aware of that right now. I thought it okay, went the opposite. Enough. My, my okay. understanding, so just to be clear, my understanding that. is that right okay. now they can't. All right. So what is your position? Since I, I think the whole left stinks, you think Donald Trump stinks. So I'm going to, I talk about the left. So let's go to Gavin Newsom. In California, where I live, there is a law. It is a law. It's not a recommendation that if a, a, a kid, an eight year old says that she is a boy and the, uh, the, the school is not permitted to tell the parents that the girl thinks she is a boy and goes by a boy's name at, at, uh, in her school. Do you think that that is a moral and good law? I don't think about this. I'm so sorry, but when I look at Donald Trump, this is a man who tried to overthrow the election and resist the peaceful transfer of power. I can't right. think of a okay. thing that I think less there about than okay, how we're so trans all, people stand. Right. Just to be it's clear, hold on, just Trump. to be clear for it's people all. that don't know, just to be clear for people that don't know my background. You okay? guys I, hold on, on the left should thank God yeah. every day for Donald Hold on, Trump. we'll wait, Dennis. You say, if, if, if Steven, an hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if Steven doesn't want to answer the question as you see it, allow him not to answer it, but let's hear I'll answer it, I'll answer it. I'm appalled, I was banned from Twitch for opposing the integration of trans people into sports. I don't think it's appropriate. I probably stand in I opposition to a lot question. of the very, I very asked, far left. Okay. What? They are, they, they, the law. Okay. So let me just go on record. I can give you the rest. We could talk hours. Sure. What's the California law for the eight year old? Go ahead. What was it? Yes. You cannot, a, a school cannot tell a parent and not, not doesn't have to, is not allowed to tell a parent if a child identifies as the other sex in a California school. That, that would probably be something I'd be opposed to as a parent. I think I would want to know that if my kid was identifying as a different gender yes, in class. Correct. So, so you see, if it weren't for Trump, you would have to spend the time with me or anyone else defending the left and their scummy little laws like that that ruin lives of kids and have girls get uh, get their breasts cut off at 18 or even younger. What is being, it's like it, every, nothing matters. All that matters is January 6th. Every time I raise an issue, we go back to January 6th. 